In this video, I'm going to show you what could be the coolest hip pack made for mountain biking. Now, I will say, if you're looking for a cheap, disposable hip pack that's only going to last you a season or two, this is not it. If you're looking for a super durable hip pack with some really unique features, stick around because this is a good one. The hip pack that I'm talking about is made by a company called Suga and it's spelled T-S-U-G-A, but you pronounce it Suga. And what makes this one unique is that it's modular, which means you can put on different size packs or you can use it just as a waist belt. So right now I have this set up with just the waist belt so you can carry extra water bottles. And that's why I use hip packs mainly is to carry my tools and to carry extra water bottles. Most mountain bikes today, you can only carry one water bottle. So if you're going out for a ride, that's more than a couple hours, you need at least two or three water bottles with you. Now I won't really go into hydration backpack style versus hip pack. I've done that in another video. I'll link that one below and maybe even at the end of this video. But I use a hip pack mainly in the summertime and I use this one all summer and loved it. And the reason I don't use them in the winter is because usually in the winter, I am carrying extra jackets, gloves, hats, a lot of extra bulky clothing that just simply doesn't fit in a hip pack. But for winter rides where the, the temperatures are not fluctuating much or summer rides, I love using a hip pack because of how easily you can spin it around on your body and uh, access stuff, especially my phone. If you're checking trail forks all the time, to actually have to take off a hydration pack, especially if you're wearing elbow pads where the straps can catch your elbow pads. Super easy with a hip pack, a little bit annoying with a backpack. So again, that's all I'll say about hip pack versus hydration pack. Let's take a look at this one and show you the features. So uh, like I said, this is set up right now with just the waistband. You do have a pocket, a Velcro pocket in the back right there. And then you've got another pocket right here. And then of course you've got your water bottle holders. Now I will say I love the water bottle holders on this pack because they have uh, kind of some support to them, right? So it's very, very easy to get water bottles in and out when you're riding. I would say easier, in fact, much easier than a Jersey uh, because not only do the pockets stick out like this, but they're also not directly behind you. And so even for cross country rides, using a hip pack like this that carries water bottles can be really useful. Now you'll also see that there are straps on the back and this is a mud flap. So if you're stashing like a jacket or knee pads or elbow pads behind it, they won't get covered in mud if you hit mud or water while you're riding. These straps of course are adjustable. So I can extend these out and then I can cinch them down. Again, if you wanna put some pads in. Now, I will say, if you do put pads, make sure you cinch these straps down. Um, I was riding up in, I think, North Georgia, and I was carrying my elbow pads behind me, and I did not do that. They fell out. I knew they fell out, and I just stopped and grabbed them, but um, I did not cinch these down enough. So just a little tip. If you try this, make sure you cinch those straps down. Uh, there are some smaller pockets here. So if you just wanna put some, you know, like a little gel or energy bar, uh, this pocket actually goes down pretty deep. So you could easily put an energy bar right there and it's going to be secure. All right, so like I said, it's modular, which means you can use different size packs. This is a two liter and Suga sells a two liter, a three liter and a four liter. I believe this is the four liter. And each of these packs are waterproof. So in other words, they have a waterproof zipper to the main compartment. And there's also a waterproof zipper on the outside compartment. So there you go. Uh, the outside compartment uh, does not have any extra pockets. It's just another compartment. Uh, really useful for carrying a phone and accessing the phone quickly. And then the main compartment does have extra pockets inside to organize your gear, which I'm a pretty organized person and I love that. So uh, there is a larger pocket there and then next to it is a smaller pocket. And then you do have some loops down inside where you can put a multi-tool, you can put your tire levers, anything that you wanna just kind of organize in there so it's not bouncing around, easy to grab if you need to. And then of course it does have a key hook. So you can hook your key to there and that way you know you don't lose your keys because losing your keys on a bike ride is not good. 
So uh, like I said, that's the, the, the larger one. Uh, this is the smaller one. Now I'm gonna show you how these hook onto the pack because it's very quick and very easy to do so. So all you have to do, you can see that there are snaps right here and you would just snap those inside the pack and then those hooks go on the outside. So uh, again, all you gotta do is undo the Velcro pouch there and then we're going to snap. Now you'll see there are two snaps so you can extend this further away from the pack or you can have it closer depending if you're, you know, want to stash some gear between the pack and the waistband. All right, so I've snapped the straps inside and then the last thing that you have to do is just take these hooks and you hook them on to the outside of the pack. All of this takes about 15, 20 seconds to change out a pack. So I'm gonna put these at the top part. Uh, you can see there are four different levels. We'll call them levels. So if you want the pack to extend pretty far out, if you're putting a lot of gear between the waistband and the pack, you would put the hooks lower, but I'm gonna put them up higher because I don't want the uh, pack bouncing around when I'm riding. So that is what it looks like with the two liter pack on. And by the way, Suga does make two different size waistbands. So if you are smaller, you won't have a bunch of extra straps. And if you are larger, then you can get one that fits you. Uh, but of course the straps are adjustable and there is a mesh on the back to absorb sweat. And most of all, keep it really comfortable against your body. Uh, as I mentioned, you can extend the pack further out. So you can see there is a gap between there. So you could put a jacket or you could put, uh, you know, like I said, knee pads, elbow pads uh, would be the most common for me. And by the way, there is a hook up there so you can hang it up to dry when you're done with it. And as I mentioned, there are waterproof zippers. So uh, I got caught in a storm with this and all my stuff stayed dry. One unique thing too, is if you're not carrying water bottles, you can tuck the water bottle holders underneath the pack so that they are out of the way. And again, if you're just carrying gear and you don't need to carry a couple water bottles with you, then you can do that. So uh, I'm just gonna slip this on so you can kind of see what it looks like on me. So it is a very, very comfortable pack to wear. And like I said, you can slip water bottles in and out of this thing very easily. Uh, you really don't even have to look. I mean, you, you just kind of, after a couple times, you just know exactly where that is. And that's it. And I've never had a water bottle fall, fall out of these. Very, very secure. And before I wrap up the video, I'll show you a couple other things that Suga makes. Like I said, they make really good, high quality outdoor gear. One of them is a gear bucket that's pretty unique because it's somewhat compliant. So it's a little soft on the outside. Uh, but super durable nylon exterior that I believe is waterproof. And then it's got these handles and then it's got a plastic thing inside and it's got this flap that comes over and then it's soft inside. So that's a gear bucket that they make. And they make something that I think is really cool. It's called a mud mat. So this mud mat allows you to change clothes because all of us have changed clothes on, you know, rocks or a super muddy area and you just want to have clean feet so they make this mud mat so it's pretty unique it's pretty cool i've actually used this sitting in my car after a ride where i got muddy and i did not want to get my seats all muddy and so i just set this up uh, on it of course it was clean on the back side so the back side is a very very durable nylon and the inside is soft so your feet aren't stepping on rocks and getting all muddy. So that's a mud mat that Suga makes. So that's gonna wrap it up of showing you the Suga Eldorado H2O hip pack that is modular and built to last a lifetime. <laughs> this thing will last a very long time. So if you're interested, check it out. If you've used one of these, let me know. I did go on their website and look at the comments and everybody gave it a five-star rating. Uh, everybody who's used this really loves it and I can see why because it's cool. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, drop those below. Thanks for watching.